Hello, friend. Welcome back. We are sitting inside of my very first studio or office, whatever you want to call it. And today's just going to be a little bit of an update video for you. If we have not met, my name is Blaze Pivovar. I'm a freelance DP and colorist based here in Kansas City. I currently freelance full time, but I do make these YouTube videos on the side as I have the time to take you guys into my process, show real project breakdowns, teach coloring and talking about the gear and the tools that I use to get the jobs done. And this studio space has less to do with YouTube and more to do with just the current state of my video production company, but also my desire to facilitate community among creative men here in Kansas City. Although it's definitely gonna be nice to have a larger space to film these YouTube videos, to teach you guys things, and a spot that is larger than my garage that I've been filming in for the last few months. As you can see, it is very much a work in progress. I have started some of the work with building some stuff as well as moving gear over, but it's definitely going to take a few weeks to get things settled into the space. Okay, so here is a quick look at the space that's walking in the door. We're gonna go ahead and walk to the back. I just wanted to show you guys, this is just very much a work in progress. And so right here, we built these black acoustic panels, eight feet long. You'll see we've already ran a bunch of them up on the ceiling. We're gonna hang two more that are right there, probably down on that end, helping with a lot of the echo that is in the space. And then these white panels are gonna hang on the walls. We're probably gonna do two kind of over there. And then we're gonna hang two or three on this wall here. When it comes to this right here, this is gonna be a table. And so trying to figure out the exact dimensions that I want, but I would love to have a large table kind of in the center of the space where I can meet with clients, where friends can come and work. I really have a hope to gather people in this space. So gonna be kind of DIYing a large table. When it comes to gear storage, this is kind of just temporary for now. We did get this toolbox so we can lock up lenses and cameras if we're renting out the studio to others. This was just brought over from my garage holding my gear for now, but you'll see the hope is to have everything on casters so that the space is very modular. We also have this industrial file cabinet that I thrifted. I also put some casters on it and that's probably gonna move kind of back over here for gear storage. And so the hope is to, yeah, to have everything kind of modular that it can move around easily. We might leave this shelf here or we might bring it out where these tape lines are so that it creates kind of a wall and maybe have a sitting space here. We're not exactly sure yet, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process of figuring it out. We have a bunch of tools up here, just a bunch of scrap wood, and we're gonna get to this later on, but this will probably be my desk area. And so this came with the space. We're not sure if we're gonna keep it, but that's gonna go kind of up against this wall when you initially walk in. And then forgot to mention this back wall is gonna be where we're actually gonna be filming. And so there's some boxes here on the ground. Those are paper backdrops we're gonna mount to the back wall, we're gonna be able to film interviews in this space, rent it out to other people, looking to film interviews, doing photo shoots. The panels, we're probably gonna stop where those tape lines are, kind of on both sides so that the entire back corner is all blank white walls. The hope in that is then it's kind of a blank canvas and we can add, you know, colored lights to do some like dramatic music video stuff, similar to what you would maybe get with a psych wall, but we're not actually gonna be putting in a psych wall, at least to start. So we're excited about it, we're gonna see how it works for us. I'd love to show you guys behind the scenes and take a look at the process. I've been documenting a lot of it. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that in dedicated videos or more update videos kind of at the end of my typical YouTube videos if there's updates to share. I feel like a lot of the studio build outs, if you search that on YouTube, are showing fully completed studios. No one is really talking you through the thought process, maybe some decisions. I know for me, before I signed the lease, getting a commercial space seemed incredibly intimidating. I did not know where to start. I kind of just stumbled into the opportunity that I found here, but just through the little bit of signing the lease and beginning the build out, I feel like there's a lot that I could share that would be helpful for other people running production companies in different cities. Kansas City is kind of a mid-sized market. We're not a small town, but we're not a massive city like LA or New York or Atlanta. And so I think there's a lot of people living in cities like this that can actually find use out of a commercial space like this. And I would love to help make that process at least a little bit less intimidating 
as I'm kind of going through it. So I'll keep you guys up to date on how I want to go about the build out. Please let me know down below what you would be interested in learning when it comes to a space like this. What are you curious about? Are you curious about the numbers? Are you curious about the process of how I went about finding it? Are you curious about more of the technical, you know, build out? Why are we adding the things that we're adding? Would love to know down below. So please let me know your comments and I will take that into consideration as I make updates for you guys on the space. One of the benefits of having a YouTube channel is brands want to start sending you things. And funny enough, the week that I signed the lease on the studio, I got an email from FlexiSpot asking if I wanted to check out one of their ergonomic chairs. I told them no, and this is where you can learn to negotiate with these brands. I said, you know, I am doing this build out. I would be interested in a desk if you guys could send something over. And so I sent in my recommendation and they actually sent it my way. So I'm just gonna quickly talk you guys through what they sent me. So this is the FlexiSpot ES7 Pro. When it comes to why I need a standing desk, I can't honestly say that I need one, but having one is definitely nice. I sit to edit mostly, but it is super nice to have the option to stand up during longer work days or when I need a break from sitting. This is the solid wood top in rubber wood with the white frame legs. The size I went with is 55 by 28, but they also have a 48 by 24. Accessories wise, they sent me the cable management tray as well as the desk drawer. Price wise, the model I received is definitely on the premium end around $700 when you add up the legs and the top and the accessories, but they do have others closer to that $150 mark if you are looking for something more compact and more affordable. I think it's worth mentioning that the build quality feels super sturdy. Here's a bit of a wobble test at its standing height. And then here's me sitting on it as it raises up with zero issues. I think the weight capacity is like 400 plus pounds. If you guys are interested in checking out these desks from FlexiSpot, there's going to be a link down below. If you guys watched my last home office tour video, you guys will see the standing desk that I've used for several years. Those were the cheapest legs that I could find on Amazon. And then I DIY'd a desktop using wood from Lowe's. Does take some DIY, does take some time, does take some tools, but I was really happy with the result. Felt super sturdy. And so there are so many options for desks out there, guys. Just pick something that works for you. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.